CorelDRAW 9 improves its internet publishing features. Now, users can publish CorelDRAW documents in various HTML layouts. We will focus on the third layout method available in CorelDRAW 9, styles. Styles, or cascading style sheets, offer more flexibility to web authors with regards to text and image positioning. Similar to Netscape layers, it is supported in version 4 web browsers to some extent. With most new developments in HTML authoring, achieving consistent standards are difficult. Let's take our Dolphin 2000 promotional document that we used in the previous module. What we want to do is take our fact sheet and quickly make it internet ready by using the styles layout method. But first, we need to make some changes to the page layout. On your file menu, click on Layout, Page Setup. We need to take the letter size page and quickly convert it to a size that is compatible for the web. First click on the Landscape Radio button. Then click on the Unit Option box and select Pixels instead of Inches. From the Resolution option box, select 72 as a resolution. Finally, change the width to 640 and the height to 480. Click OK. We quickly resize the object to fit the new dimensions. By using styles, we take advantage of the flexibility it offers to text. Instead of converting the paragraphs to graphics, we right-click each paragraph and select Make HTML Compatible. Once we are ready to publish our document, we go to File, Publish to Internet. From here, we have some options to choose. First, we need to determine a path where the HTML source code will be placed. Next, we want to specify a location to place the images. Here we have a choice of calling the image folder the same name as the HTML source file, or any name we choose. Here we have chosen the checked box where the HTML file name is the same as the folder. Finally, we choose the type of HTML layout we want to use. We choose a third method, Styles. Click Next. The next step is to determine the image format. Here we simply choose the JPEG format. The following two options concern color palette and size. With both checked, we are sure that the image size and color palette used will be viewable by most web surfers. Click Next. The last screen of our export gives us a chance to rename each page as a valid HTML document and to include a title to each page. Click Finish. Once completed, simply use your web browser and open the corresponding HTML file. And you should notice that the text object we converted are laid out properly.